Hello and welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale Ravel Monogram Parts Packs. The Parts Packs accessory kits were released in four versions, all of which you can see here, and these were released in 1998. They do not make these anymore, so if you are looking to buy these, you're probably going to have to look on eBay. That is the only place that I've been able to find these. And the model numbers are 85 dash for all of them. That's 7251. 7252, 7253, and 7254. Now one thing to note before I start unboxing and showing you guys all the uh, details on all the parts, these are all similar kits. Some are just engines, some are engines and transmissions, some have stock options, some have drag racing options or uh, other type of non-stock options that you could put on there. And they all are a single chrome plated parts tree and the instructions are printed on the back and I'll show you guys that more right now. Here is the Chevy 283 cubic inch V8 engine. It contains 42 parts and with all the other ones a skill level 2, 125th scale. And as I said earlier model number is 85-7251. Taking a quick look around you can see here it looks the same as all the other ones on the front except for the printing there that states that it's a 283. You can see they have a nice viewing window so if you're in the store or online you can see a picture of what you're going to get. And on the back here it's nice because they include the instructions on the back so you can see how easy or difficult this would be for you to build. However I'm not the biggest fan since if you end up losing the package and you still have the chrome plated parts tree somewhere then you might not be able to put it together. But nonetheless very nice instructions for what you're putting together here. This isn't a whole kit, it's just an engine, so just an exploded diagram there of how you put it together and being it's all chrome plated you can just leave it as is or you can strip some of the chrome and paint the parts different however you please. So now let's open this up and I'll show you what comes inside. Detailing looks excellent. Chrome doesn't look like it's uh, too thick or too thin. Looks overall really nice. There's some header flanges there. Your front mounted blower. Chrome plated valve covers there. And everything is chrome plated which I'm not the biggest fan of but it's it's very simple to strip the chrome off if you choose to do it like that. And they have all the valve train detail and the, everything like that molded into all the parts which is nice if you're going to use this for a diorama setup. Near the bottom of the valve detail and the crankshaft, all that kind of stuff. And even all the, the backs to all the parts are chrome plated and molded really nicely. And the stuff you're not going to see. So there is the 283. The Cadillac 354 cubic inch V8 engine, probably the most rare out of these four that you're going to find as far as. Uh, aftermarket accessory packs and stuff like that. This one only contains 36 parts, skill level 2, 125th scale, 7252 for the model number, and like I said, it looks the exact same on the front. And the back here, they have the directions. And then this one you can build these ways here, as you can see. So now let's open this up and show you the chrome plated parts inside. Once again you can see excellent detail on all these chrome plated parts. Just amazes me is how they can get stuff so detailed and even put a layer of chrome plating over it and not really lose all that detail. That's how you can tell a good company whenever you can do stuff like that and all the detail is still there. Multi-piece block just excellent finish on all these parts. It's what you come to expect from a Ravel Monogram product. Not saying all the other companies are bad, but Ravel has a reputation to have really detailed products. And this definitely lives up to the name. Even though these were cast and sold in 1998, still to this day they're amazing looking. The Pontiac 421 cubic inch V8 engine contains 36 pieces, skill level 2, 125th scale, model number 7253, same as all the others on the outside. Here is your instructions. Nicely detailed, you can do the Tri-Power 370 super stock option or a blown competition engine. 
The only downside to this one is it only has stock type headers, but easy to switch those out. Now let's take this out and I'll show you guys the nice parts inside. Okay, looking at the parts, excellent detail overall. Like I said, it'd be just as easy to dechrome these parts, paint them in all clad, or paint them in any color that you like, enamel or acrylic. Anything will work nicely. And I really like that they add the detail of the valves and everything like that inside so if you don't want to put this in a car you want to have it out somewhere like in a diorama or just to show it off halfway built you have the option to do that so there you go here's the Ford 427 cubic inch V8 engine it features 41 parts scale level 2 scale 125 7254 for the model number outside the box take a look real quick here got the nice window there as all the other ones do show off what you're getting here's the instructions a nice exploded view you can build this as a dual car version or a blown engine so it shouldn't be too hard to put this together along with all the other ones so now let's open this up and look at these parts excellent detailing on everything very nice application of chrome plating across all the parts as far as I can see. But if you don't like the chrome, you can strip it off. Excellent detail there. Even on the stuff that you're not really going to see. Chrome plated transmission, something you really don't see. It'd be good for a show hot rod type vehicle. All the molded in detail of all your internal engine parts. And a kit like this is nice because for a person who doesn't know much about engines, it kind of teaches you a little bit about how they go together and how they work and everything like that. So overall, excellent parts. After taking a good look at the four Ravel parts packs that came in the series here released in 1998, I can say that I highly recommend these if you can find them. There are quite a few that are on eBay. Depends on what you want, if you want just one of them or if you want the variety pack. There are some sellers out there that are selling these in different forms. So they are available. I have quite a few myself because they're excellent little kits. I haven't built any yet, but from what it looks like, shouldn't be much problem going together. Just like any other kit, you know, especially from a few years ago, there's going to be a little bit of trimming and stuff that you're going to have to do to prepare the parts to be perfect. But overall, guys, the finish, the... Um, the casting and everything like that is just excellent and I highly recommend these so if you see these definitely pick them up before they're gone because you know they don't make them anymore so they're only going to last so long until people build them all or collect them and don't want to get rid of them so that's my uh, take on these guys let me know what you think comment rate subscribe thanks a lot for watching you guys are a great audience and I'll talk to you guys soon